I just had a sticky note that said how to get away with murder. 501. Did I lose that one too? Is that all you also know about? I swear to God, she's tell. Oh, stupid bitch. I literally just had it, so. Yeah, found it. 50 Shades of Purple. Hello, my name is Chantel from Chantel is Probably Sorry. The time the reaction starts is in the description. This is How to Get Away with Murder 502 called Whose Blood Is That? I'm scared of these flashbacks. I'm scared of this season. I'm scared of this season. God damn it. Because they're going to friggin' hurt me. Speaking of hurting me though, I, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about uh, the dark core. Later though, I'm gonna talk about the intro comments first. Before I go on, my email address is Chantel is probably sorry at gmail.com for anyone who is or may ever be <laughs> interested in owning any of my drawings. I have mm, drawings. <laughs> I really, really am wondering who the hell is bleeding and dying? Where did they get stabbed? Sounds like the throat. I think some people on Twitter thought that it sounded like Michaela's breathing of the person dying. I thought it sounded like a guy. I didn't go back and listen to it since that dough. The, since that dough. <laughs> Though, I guess when I hear it again this episode, I'll try to listen for that to see if I can hear that. I was thinking it's a guy and I'm thinking, is it Asher? Cause for some reason my first thought was Asher for some reason. Ooh, I really hope it's not <laughs> central. I hope it's not anyone in the middle. I just. Let it be some strange bitch who we don't give a shit about, please. I don't know, I think it's just because it's Bonnie's face. I'm thinking it's someone important to Bonnie. Because this show would do something that poetically f up. I'm like, Asher, Gabriel, is it the boyfriend, her boyfriend, almost boyfriend boss person who, well, I ship it, but I don't even know his name, so like, I don't remember that shit. There has been a stress on consent for Bonnie's character, I'm realizing. Season one, episode nine, the first time Bonnie and Asher had sex, Asher hesitated because she was drunk and she set the lines clear. She's like, I'm a grown woman. I'm capable of making adult decisions. Her consent was made very clear and she still retains her ability to consent even though she has um, a past of assaults that took her consent and turned it into garbage, into trash, just. I'm saying that because Bonnie said to her future boyfriend person whose name I will have to listen for, I'm saying that you are in reference to being allowed to start something or whatever. So the dark core, this is a messed up show with messed up uh, characters. People are messed up, generally speaking. We're not perfect. I think everyone has their dark secrets. <laughs> the other day, I was on Tumblr and I saw something. Sorry, I'm going through screenshots. I saw something about this dark core personality test and I will put the link to that in the description because honestly, it's a fun time, I think. IDR Lab stands for Individual Differences Research Labs. It's similar to, well, not actually, well, it's similar to Myers-Briggs, I guess. It takes traits that have the potential to exist in all of us, such as, well, egoism, narcissism, entitlement, psychopathy, sadism, self-interest, spitefulness, Machiavellianism, moral disengagement, and basically it measures the amount of each of those traits that you have. And it's called your dark core. It also compares how light or dark you are to other people who have taken the test. Like me, the first time I took it, I was 18% lighter than the average population. And then I took it a second time and I became 16.89 percent lighter than the population and then I took it the third time and I became 14 percent and then you know what I was like maybe I should just stop taking it because it gets worse every single time it's already pretty low well I mean it is on the lighter side as opposed to like I have I know people and they took it and they're like darker than how like they're dark as hell and I'm like oh okay interesting cool <laughs> nice to know please don't hurt me just kidding and so I thought that was just a little fun thing. I thought I would share it. I might put my scores up on the screen. <laughs> the trait with the lowest percentage is psychopathy. 
which I'm at 3% for that. And that did actually, each time I took the, okay. Each time I took the test, my percentages changed, but psychopathy is the only one that stayed at 3%. And that's really, really, really lower than everyone else. <laughs> Based on the people who took this test, the most common trait that people score high in is self-interest and I scored 30% so which is under half of the average populations the fact that I scored highest in egoism is actually a bit surprising to me the three highest scores are the most surprising to me I'm like seriously the one that surprises me m most is sadism though it's my second highest score and it's quite above the average populations and I'm like okay sure according to the website sadism is a tendency to humiliate others via cruel or demeaning behavior or the propensity to intentionally inflict physical sexual or psychological pain on others in order to assert power or for pleasure and enjoyment I don't buy it seeing other people in pain puts me in pain like it puts me in pain. I'm a very empathetic person. And when people describe physical pain to me, like an injury, like I'm cringing just thinking about it. I get these weird shivers in my spine, first of all, but then I actually feel pain in my ass of all places. My ass just starts stinging really badly. That might have been too much information. It's very uncomfortable, I don't like it. I wanna know, if anyone cares enough to answer is that something that happens to everyone? Feeling pain based on another person's description. Does that happen to everyone? Because it sure as hell happens to me. I do not find joy in experiencing pain and even less in delivering pain. So I'm just like a little confused. However, I do laugh when babies fall. It's extremely hard for me not to laugh when babies fall and I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. <laughs> And that is one of the scores that increased. It got worse the second time I took the test. So I don't know what to believe. How accurate is this shit? Anyway, it's fun. Okay, that was the point of this, is that it's a fun little test. Go knock yourselves out. And if you do it, you should, well, I'm not gonna ask y'all to comment y'all statistics. I'm just interested in seeing other people's too. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a new house? Cause- Where do you want this? Bitch. Here. It's about goddamn f***ing time. And she looks good as hell. Yes. Oh, God. Enjoy happiness, because it's not going to last long, baby. I'm early for makeup. He looks good with no shirt on. <coughs> Sorry. That was a coincidence, I promise. I'm not thirsty this time. Holy shit. Why does Tinker got us? Right when I'm about to beat your ass. Funny old man. We st I know people who use flip phones still. It's alright. It's a little suspicious because of the show, not because it's a flip phone. Is that we oh, already nice have tattoo. Him. Nana's lawyer didn't hire a translator to properly explain the deal. She's a non-native English speaker, so she couldn't have fully understood what she was saying. Someone tell Miss Castillo why that pitch is weak. Ali was my English teacher. I took a class after I was fluent, just to keep saying her. Nanda is a Rohingya Muslim from Myanmar. For decades, this community has suffered with- Is this because she's a gay immigrant? What? That's why you picked me, to teach me a lesson about Simon. Do you not understand what's at stake in this case? The governor wants us to fail, I get it. But Nanda, and then she gets deported back to a country where they're sticking women and men in concentration camps, raping and killing them. Your little plea hearing is actually a death penalty case. But no pressure. Warranted, very much so. Warranted, because perspective is hella important. Thousands of Rohingya Muslims have been murdered and sent to concentration camps, but Nanda escaped. Except now she's locked up in what's supposed to be the freest country in the world. This. You're messed up if you're worried about the prize right now. Okay, see, perspective, but also this man. Is a wake snatcher. Thank you, Gabriel. Are you too young now to stop from being obstinate? True, yes, but also. Does the Sixth Amendment? Oh shit. Tegan, I 
I mean, Miss Price. Yikes. Hi. Time to go. That's f awkward. Thank you very much. Oh, Jesus. Asher Millstone. I came here to talk to Bonnie about an internship. Stop being an entitled millennial and go find your own job. <laughs> Mr. Donaldson, is Damn. it true you have my... You should have learned that from your professor. I'm asking you if you have any irrefutable evidence. What? Look at this so scary. Don't pick her. When you represented oh. Londa Machine, did she tell you that she, is the she queen only married of her wife for a green card? Objection. Objection. And listed her deceased husband's name as Raju Hashim. Did you know that your client was actually straight, Mr. Donaldson? You knew that her marriage was a fraud, just like the defendant herself. That's shitty. Okay. Um, I mean, first of all, buying second only doesn't exist, but I, I think she's supposed to be straight. Because you were trustworthy. Was your marriage real? Not at first. My visa was ending, so Ali offered. But our marriage was the most real thing I have ever known. I'm not Bonnie. I'm not going to stand here and let you bully me. Well, there's a difference between bullying and teaching. A difference you clearly don't understand. It's why Bonnie left you, why everyone leaves you. You know what? If you keep talking, you're going to see what a real bully looks like. Who's <laughs> Bonnie? Look into Josh and Hannah's social media accounts, police records. We're not investigators. How are we supposed to do that? Well, I hired someone to help. <laughs> Oliver? No, Oliver's at home with Christopher. Where's my child? What's with the baby? I already know you. You take your coffee black. You hate compliments and talking about yourself. You know surface you shit, baby. You something else because you made me feel comfortable. That's about to go off. That's not knowing someone. What do you do with your face? Sorry. You know things about me. Mm -hmm. I like it. A lot. But he's still about to get it, though. <laughs> it's Ophelia, 1933. Of course, I'm an idiot. Do you need to go? Maybe she's bi. I mean, the B is the biggest population of the LGBTQ community. Ask Michaela, she was engaged to a bi guy. Oh. Really, I'm helping you work on a case about a gay immigrant, Michaela. I have a right to be petty. Oliver is a little petty. It's a little... Oh, me take over and get a man who's been successfully lying to the world for years to crack on the stand or you can have you're acting as first chair today miss katie yes your honor i'd like to call josh bathurst to the stand <laughs> you going down boy hey, abuela she's a liar mm-hmm and a snake yeah. Do you realize you are also a liar and a snake? Mm-hmm. Your mom is gonna fix this. My tech expert told me that the IP address linked to Barfly 22 matches your computer. Is that true? I didn't have time to check. So I'll steal your computer and impersonate you? Anti-Muslim rhetoric it does not make me a murderer. You know what? I would agree with you if you had is made up the story girl? that your mother wanted a divorce. I didn't make that up. Letting real criminals loose on the streets sets us back. Us? And as in white people? Ms. Keating, you've made your point. You're the one who killed a white woman here, not me. Why? Did you feel abandoned by your mommy? You were worse than the rest of us. Was it just hate? Because your mother chose to love a this brown guy instead you, of you. You are a stain on this country! Just like her! That was epic. That was extremely intense. Game six, when he hit that final shot in 98. I stopped breathing. It's for a little bit. My roommate's kicking me out of my place. You can come live with us? Stop. Oh what? Have you spent enough time being vindictive? He is also a bit vindictive. He's a being. And they've reinstated your green card. You're being released. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Anais. Um, it was a team effort. The chills, can we stop? I think the team. Okay, so there's something f going on. You don't over anything. Oh. All right, fine. There's nothing going on. That is the only way that she's gonna see that you are your own man with your own voice and your own balls. Are you done? Wait, that's not bad advice. You're hired on a trial basis. You annoy me, and you're out. It's gonna get awkward real fast. I have the chills, bro. God damn. Not bad for a millennial, huh? 
Good job, Asher. Good for you, honey. Why does everyone hate me? They don't. Mm. Talk to your fiance. Hmm. Actually, he has something to say to you. Oliver? I put my purple shirt in with your whites on purpose. I knew it. I knew that too. Shit, who didn't know it? I'm sorry. Connor, I mean, the both of us want you to be our other best man. Wait, what? Say yes. Who wants another s'more? Oh, this is very sweet. She likes you. Wait, boy. It's very risky. We're also doing the Fifty Shades of Purple thing. I see you, baby. Fifty Shades of Purple. This guy who told me about this place. Save my ass. Sleeping in the stacks tonight. This place had to work out. Is there a name for that swivel move? <laughs> I'm your roommate Gabriel. He can't live with you anymore. He doesn't know anything. How do you know that? Because he's nice to you? Because you're pretty? Oh, I didn't need to tell you any of this. You know what this reminds me of? This reaction is why no one is ever honest. Sam, Sam. you always want men you can't he have. He's nothing like Sam. How do you know he's not playing you? Because I spent the last three months getting to know him. Falling for him. He is falling for me. That is why I trust him, because if he saw what was in my file, he'd want nothing to do with me. That's f And it's wildly depressing. <sighs> oh no, stop. Don't make the crying face, Liza. I'm gonna have to fight you, honey, because stop. <laughs> so, yeah, she's the leaning DNA into her. Was sent to Denver. Who's that hoe? I can't see shit. Her hair looks nice, though. Bonnie! Why haven't you been answering your phone? Well, it's not like Christopher Kayla. had an accident. Thank God. I was starting to panic. Whose blood is that? Whose blood is that, Bonnie? Bonnie, tell me whose blood it is. Bonnie, whose blood is it? Mm -mm. <laughs> Shit. I hate when these episodes end. Damn it. I know that sounds dramatic, but really. Oh, damn it. Is Michaela gonna sleep with Gabriel? I knew Frank was manipulating the cute girl. And I pretty much figured it was his roommate after a while. Another season of Annalise and Bonnie having a very complex and uh, gay appearing relationship, but not gay. Where is episode nine? <laughs> I'm being dramatic. Well, we know it's not Michaela or the world. I don't like having to wait a week in between this damn these episodes. Here we go with another West Parallel with Gabriel. I mean, I know that it was a means of a storyline and the storyline had to exist and Frank, you know, manipulated the situation into that. But I mean, hey, it's a good way to reuse the prop. <laughs> God damn it. We got a lovely demonstration today of how everyone thinks in the binary and tends to jump from either straight to gay without thinking about the fact that there are people who are neither of those things are capable of attraction to men and women or of any gender or regardless of gender. So I think Laurel killed her mom. <laughs> if you keep acting like that, you're gonna see what a real bully looks like, bitch. Annalise is legendary. <laughs> I know I shouldn't watch the promo, but I'm going to watch the promo because I have no self-control sometimes. Are Tegan and Annalise gonna end up being a thing? Are Annalise and uh, her boss gonna be a thing? I don't know his name. Are they gonna let her be happily single? Didn't she sleep with Nate recently? Maybe I'm just confused because I literally like two days ago started watching season one with someone so I can't remember if this was a recent um, sex scene or not or if it was from season one that I... The baby was never dead. You cannot. You cannot. No way. No, that's not a reference to Annalise's baby. Sorry, it's not. Like, it's not going to be. I figured that if they were to pull a this is Annalise's baby storyline, that it would be the baby that she thought, you know, was dead, that we thought was dead. And I was like, okay, I can buy the fact that she didn't know that her own child was dead. I can buy 
that I guess though it'd be kind of hard you know to buy that the, the hospital the baby was dead But what I won't be able to buy is Frank's behavior in previous seasons towards Annalise regarding the death of her son that he is responsible for, at least in part. Anyone who's seen any of my videos for the bold type knows how I feel about queer Muslim characters. I think there is a real, real lack of representation in that front. I am always happy when I see positive Muslim LGBTQ Plus representation, especially because such little conversation about this group of people exists anyway. So putting it in a television show provides exposure and context to members of the audience who have probably never even thought of how this person may walk through life, what their experiences may be, how life is for them. I'm glad there was a little talk there about, um, well, I guess gender and sexual norms. I for real thought that with the siblings, the sister was racist and the brother was covering for her. But nah, that's not what was happening. We know the baby storyline isn't going to be what it seems. Either Frank and uh, Nate aren't looking into the same baby. Gabriel is for some reason Annalise's kid instead of Bonnie's kid, or even more out there, Tegan's? That even makes sense. Who else could be a secret baby? I couldn't recognize um, whoever it was on the surveillance camera stealing a baby. Just can't be what it seems. Bonnie does look really good in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> Floral makes me physically ill. It is really, really a not cool storyline to have Frank raising Wes's baby. But I mean, yeah, all right, it's happening. God, how blessed is everyone to work with Viola Davis? So Bonalise is a thing. I love Bonnie and Annalise. I'm in the Bonalise tag. Shit, this is like a real honest to God, like ship ship, like wow, okay. Cool. I've been on Tumblr for a while. I think I need to like just say what I need to say and like leave. So I guess that is it for me. Thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, be sure to check out my channel playlist or description to see what other shows I watch, what else I do. Subscribe if any of those things interest you. This is my email address on the screen. Hope you're having a wonderful existence and I guess I'm bringing me too. It's a wedding. You are mine and I'm yours and you're still mine when I go on tour. No. Oh, no, no. Whoa. Frank. Frank. That was very risky, Frank. Very risky, Frank. Fifty shades of purple. Oh. Bitch, if you don't get off my dick. Can you mind in my pants? Hey. Tegan. Mm. I don't really need to thank you. I just knew I couldn't reach out. Living my best life. Living my best life. Machiavellianism. Damn it. Machiavellianism. Oh no. Okay, so this is what I figured. I figured that obviously, oh, I'm supposed to be watching the promo. And I have to turn that off. Anyone, <clears throat> anyone who knows, I guess that's it for me tonight. <sighs> which is more than half lower. Which is less than half. Which is less than half of the... I guess is mm, Which is half of that then. Which is half of that of... Turn off the camera.